<laughs> John, I am so happy that Stephanie has found her partner in you. I see that you cherish her very much and treat her with so much love and compassion. Baby, you've got the sort of hands to rip me apart. And baby, you've got the sort of face to start this old heart. But your eyes are warning me this early morning. I remember when Stephanie's mom and I were talking on the phone right after Stephanie and John had gone on a couple of dates. We were discussing John, and she was telling me a little bit more about him. And when she stated that John had attended grad school in Seattle, my immediate response was, we found him. I find you stunning, but you are running me down. My love's too big for you, my love. My love's too big for you. You two are such a wonderful, sweet couple. I wish you many adventures ahead. I am so happy to be able to be part of such a beautiful day. With love and happiness, here is to you, Stephanie and John. And here we go. Stephanie is all we heard about then for the next uh, next long time. He used to tell us how, how awesome she is and how wonderful she is, and, and it was a great thing to see. Too big for you, my love. Oh, my love's too big for you, my love. And if I was stronger than I would tell John is deliberative, and when he told us about Stephanie, there was no deliberation. It was just spontaneity. It was just joy. And uh, Stephanie, you've really brought joy into John's life. And I think those of us who know him well can say that with absolute certainty. We love that. We love to see that. And we just thank you for that. Take away the to see all the smiling and laughing you guys do together in your lives, both deliberatively and spontaneously. It's to John and Stephanie. Here we are on top of the star. Never thought we'd ever get this far We live for moments like this We come alive in moments like this Here we are, this is a time Like a dream coming to life We live for moments like this We come alive in moments like this a wonderful best friend and thank you for having a special occasion for us all together and I can't wait for today. It's great and good job to have a wonderful day. We love you. Cheers! Cheers. Just running to the track because there's a track right there. I was like, I'm gonna run a few miles and like a third of the way there, and I just ate it like on the way to the track. Yeah. Yeah.
So here we are today, finally. <laughs> a lifetime of hoping and dreaming and one intense year of planning, all for today. Stephanie, I love you very, very much. I love you because you are smart and kind and warm and thoughtful. I love you because you care so much about so many things and so many people. I'm not sure I'll be able to fully express everything I'm feeling or give this any justice at all, but I'm gonna try. I love you because you work hard at everything you do and because you always find time to do one more thing. And I always smile when I see you, even when I had to get up extra early just to make sure our paths crossed. We always tell each other how much we love one another, but I'm not sure I always tell you just why I love you so much. I love you for your unending patience. I love you for your incredible kindness. I love you for your loyalty. And I love how excited you are for our adventures together. I look forward to building a life with you. And I look forward to cheering you on as you accomplish incredible things, to keeping you calm in stressful situations, to closing drawers for you, <laughs> and doors, and to reaching things on the top shelf. I love how much you care about me, about our families, and about our lives together. And your blue eyes are pretty great too. I'm constantly impressed by you from almost the first moment I met you. You're a remarkable, one-of-a-kind woman, and I'm so thankful and so happy and so lucky to be the person standing across from you today and to be the person standing with you for years to come. But above all, you know how to love. You value our relationship and you treasure it, and I love you for that. The night I proposed, I gave you an atlas with post-it notes marking important points in our relationship. And I'm excited to add more post-it notes to that atlas over the years as we travel the country, the world, and have wonderful adventures together. But if we don't travel much, that's okay too, because I'll be just as happy sitting at home with you. So as I imagined walking down this aisle, I realized I would be walking to an amazing future. And that's how I knew that you were the perfect girl for me, that you were the one person I wanted to grow old with, to share whatever adventures await us, to experience good times and bad. There isn't anybody else I would ever want to be on this journey with. I know marriage won't always be like today, and I know there will be tough spots. But what I also know is that this marriage of ours is built to last. Before I proposed, before I searched for the perfect engagement ring across 13 stores on two coasts, and before I met your wonderful family, I realized that I didn't need to be alone to rest and recuperate. I needed to be with you. Because I know you and all the good you are made of and all the good that you represent. Together we will weather through tougher times with love to spare. Now that the wedding planning is done, and once the wedding is over, I look forward to resting and recuperating with you as long as we both shall live, because I love you very, very much. I know how lucky I am to be marrying you today. I'm excited to be your wife. Thank you for loving me and for becoming my husband today. So do you remember With your white dress on It was the end of December oh. Look how the days till dawn I'm never
Please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Osborne. And the culmination, of course, of, of the events for this year is what's happened today. And we, I just cannot begin to tell you how thrilled Mary Lynn and I are uh, to have been a part of this. And we are, love the new family. Uh, we love having you as a part of our family and look forward to many, many happy years. And when I said I love you for the first time, I may have started the party with some red. I will also say that my daughter, when she first described you, is that dad, he's just like the other men in our family. He is a gentle man. And she used those men as a parameter to judge you. Good job, John. So my blessings, welcome to the family. This is going to be neat. can never explain just why I feel this way Oh, you're turning me on, yeah, you intoxicate me more than a crush This is real, this is love You got all that I need like you were made for me forever Forever Doesn't change us, doesn't change anything.